A triple murder investigation in Buncombe County is gaining national attention. Now, Robert Jason Owens is charged with murdering Christy and J.T. Codd and their unborn child. News 13's Jerrica Insko has our continuing coverage. And Jerrica, the couple was pretty involved in the movie industry. That's right. Yesterday we talked all about Owens and his criminal past, but today it's all about the victims, this power couple that everyone seemed to know, even in Hollywood. We still don't have the answers to why and how 38-year-old Christy and her husband, 45-year-old J.T. Codd, were murdered. But the Buncombe County Medical Examiner, Dr. Sharon Swede, released a statement Wednesday saying, quote, The Sheriff's Department has collected the remains suspected to be the two missing persons, but that has not been confirmed yet. There has not been a positive identification of the remains. The process has started and is ongoing, but I can't say how long it will take. Covering this story for three days now, News 13 has noticed that a quick Google search gives you web page after web page of stories and news articles. Christy Codd or Christy Schoen, which is her maiden name, pops up in newspapers and entertainment websites. Her name is making national headlines. That's because there's a chance you've seen her face before. An IMDB search brings you to her career on the big screen, with Christy appearing in movies like Mona Lisa Smile and Get On Up. She was also a stunt double for Kate Bosworth, but what she's most known for is being a contestant on Food Network Star three years ago. I am a movie caterer, so I cater big budget movies. Christy also had a company, Tree Hugger Catering, which gets her on movie sets like Focus, serving food to the stars like Will Smith. According to her company's Facebook page, they just booked a catering job for the big short featuring some pretty big stars. Her husband also has a history in the TV and movie business, working behind the scenes. Now, this is an investigation that's not going anywhere anytime soon. Those unidentified human remains are being sent to Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center tomorrow for an autopsy. And the sheriff says that no new information is being released until the scene has been processed by detectives. Reporting live in downtown Asheville, Jerrica Insko, News 13.